Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Pisces this is Sha I hope you have liked your general reading unfortunately I had them to do them uh, three in one video, but just if you haven't watched them, click on the timestamps in the description box. They're really awesome. I'm glad I got them out, and now your romance reading. I have had some computer issues, I still have, but the other people I find and hear that other people have issues as well, with especially with Facebook, uh, the interchanging of Facebook. They're not going in September. There won't be any more tags. Um, there will be face rec recognition, and uh, Skype is also changing their interface. And of course, YouTube is still busy. So we are subjected to a lot of change. Well, it could be a little bit to do with um, the Virgo energy, as Virgo are perfectionists and we are in Virgo now by the time that you re uh, hear this video okay there is also a video on the Virgo energy so I hope you've looked at that one as well that will be prepare you for the energy of Virgo right your first card is the ro oh sorry this romance reading is for September and the first card is romantic feelings you are feeling really uh, you f your feelings are real and worth exploring sorry so listen to your feel feelings and uh, do explore your feelings go out there and find out what it is all about even if you're hooked up listen to your feelings listen to new ideas you might be more in love with your partner at the moment for example because we're going into a steadier and slower energy this is um, uh, the energy where love can grow it's not just passion 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 now the card clarifying this card listen to your feelings is the four of fire so perhaps you are feeling you want to settle down if you're not hooked up you are hooked up but you're not married perhaps you might want to get married this is the four of ones and I suppose this could be like um, the heart you're this you want your love to be shown you want to celebrate it you want to show it the outside world you want to invite people in to celebrate with you because this is the celebration card I love these cards because um, they are sort of abstract like 
and everybody you can see so much more like all these squiggly bits they just remind me of people different branches um, of recognition celebrating with lots of people and the redness is the passion but you want to earth it you want to earth your passion join together I think it, it um, what I what I see in the card is that you feel solid and you feel safe with this beautiful romantic feeling if you're hooked up and if you're not hooked up then you are looking for somebody that is durable and for um, long term you want a long time long term relationship you um, you might have somebody already and you are just going out with each other but you you are ready to start living together or getting married as the four of ones means celebrations you could be getting married um, but you could also be invited to a wedding or like the four corners the four usually in the traditional tarot it's the four rods that make the shape of a house the four corners of a house stability you want to start living together so that might be your celebration in the second week of Virgo or September you getting to know each other yes you if you do move in with each other or you buy a house together or you're renting a house to start off with you're building those foundations making those foundations proper by getting to know each other even more because it's one thing going out with each other and have sleepovers but it's another thing literally living together as you reveal your innermost selves yes when you go to the bathroom that is when you really get to know a person you hear what they're doing it could be brushing their teeth and they could leave the cap off the toothpaste that could be irritating so it's a good good to get to know each other your bond deepens yes of course your bond deepens because you're working towards a steady relationship one that will last time okay and the card that we have is the seven of water that is your dream to live together that's what I said well this is the house moving in together and you have the seven of cups which means look at her she's just dreaming there which means dreaming um, wishing your goals well I think they will be coming true in the second week and if you're not literally moving in the second a week then you are definitely conversing about it with your partner and if you're not hooked up but you're going out with somebody you might be even talking about it to getting to know each other so that you can take that step of permanency in the third week you have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith yes trust and have faith that everything will be all right because you're getting to know each other um, you're also your quirky bits and you need to converse with each other letting each other know what you want let set your boundaries that's also no um, when you know somebody's boundaries and you know your own boundaries that is re having respect for each other to also give each other space in the relationship now you've got justice here now for some of you that um, um, I don't see anything uh, anybody getting separated but obviously there will be then this reading won't resonate with you but have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign because this is a general reading but I do get justice okay perhaps you um, this is what I'm getting through I can't change it perhaps <coughs> you've been dreaming um, but you will come together trust and have faith perhaps you might have been separated from each other uh, due to work or traveling or uh, you one of you might have to travel for work and uh, you have been out of balance because your partner hasn't been there and you couldn't live together 
because you're not allowed to live if you've been separated for a while you're not you are considered as not one household so now you might be coming back together and getting this stability and justice will be done okay and this is Libra and could be with a Libra you might get your balance back with Libra look the fox you've got a fox here and he is right on top of the ball and goes right down to the earth so this relationship will be earthed it will be back it was yellow and now it's coming and this is the colors of the chakra rooted and the fox has been um, analytical as to how to do it but it could also be somebody might have been jealous about your relationship okay <coughs> perhaps this has got to do with um, the past perhaps you were divorced and that could be ju uh, uh, justice the justice that you had to um, get involved with the judicial system and now the justice is here you're back in balance you were out of balance um, because you were scared of what happened in the past and you were scared to open up and now you you were scared to to listen to your romantic feelings so you are really ready now to open up to get to know each other you're opening up step by step all right so trust yourself and trust the situation you're back in balance it could be with a libra okay or it could have been somebody that wasn't really um, very nice like he was uh, analytical and sly and perhaps he had a, or she had a codependency well that is the card somebody might have had a bad habit so they were depending on you and they were manipulating you perhaps they uh, expected you to do everything and there wasn't any balance in the relationship but that's all in the past now you're now in this new relationship so don't compare this relationship with a last relationship addictions are affecting your romantic uh, life but codependency um, also reminds me of the card the devil codependent on alcohol drugs uh, bad manners manipulation uh, not uh, having the relationship in balance so you know um, nobody should depend on one person alone you should depend on each other that is what life is so now that you're free from this person that was codependent on you and that was depending or manipulating you you have found the balance and you are not comparing the past with the future you've made plans for the future you're opening up and look at this your plans are coming to fruition as you have the three of wands and that means abundance is here like I said abundance is here now now this because this is a romance reading abundance could mean anything but it basically means that love is here because you've got the four of ones as well so you're moving up from the three to the four so now might be the time because you've opened up uh, you might be getting married and making more plans and you are it, you will find it easier to trust because there is no codependency you've learned from the past perhaps a, a past relationship definitely or there was somebody around you that was a Libra so that's quite significant that was in a relationship and what and they were codependent or the other their partner was codependent on them that was your um, example so you don't want to go there and you have learned from somewhere you've picked up the energy that there should be balance equality equilibrium okay
Now you do have that and a 10 means that you are in balance. And a 10 means also an ending to a phase, a time, a new beginning. It doesn't matter how different you are, okay? If you respect each other's boundaries, then you can find the balance. This is the wheel of fortune. Oh yeah, this is what I see. Doesn't matter whether you're gentle or whether you are the, the, the warrior. You can respect each other and each other's differences. You can still be the wa warrior and be gentle. Okay, what goes up must come down. In all the relationships and life and friendships, we all have ups and downs. Okay, and everything does come full circle. This is also the karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. Now is your time to get the good karma back. Okay, that is what I'm seeing from this reading. And they that have done you wrong or good will get their karma as well. You might be moving home. Like I said, you might be moving in together. Trust it. You've been dreaming about this moment and now it is here. That's the overall energy as well. You might be going on holiday together. If you're getting married, then you will be going on honeymoon most probably. Wow. Your relationship could go up if you're not hooked up and you're meeting somebody or you've just met somebody. Your relationship will go up next to the next level. Awesome Pisces. And you are a dual sign as well. And so is Libra. So keep your balance. Now we've got TLC for the soul. Look is so romantic. Now, from this picture, be more romantic. Let go. Don't be so cool. Let the warmth come up. That's what I'm seeing from this picture as well. You've overbridged the gap. All right. You're on the other side now. A new beginning. Right. Seasons. Yes, everything. Like I said, everything has its season. Okay. Everything has its season up and down. Then it's winter, then uh, then it's summer. And in summer, everything is different than in the winter. Every time or every phase has its pros and cons. Now, letting, um, letting go is liberating. But if you continue to resist by hanging on, then you will prolong your grief and stifle your progress. What did I say? Let go of the past. By the third week you will have let go of your past. You will have freed yourself and your dreams will come true. You will find your balance. Your heart is in this relationship. There is a cosmic place where still opinions and philosophies go to disintegrate. Sometimes friendships end up at the place too. At that place too. Either from lack of care or simply because you've grown and matured. There you are. That is gone to that place. Okay. You've outgrown it. You've matured. It's important to take the time to empty out the things you are no longer willing to give attention to. That's what you're not doing. You're letting it go. You let the past be the past. Or you could decide that something is worthy of reclaiming. A new season of your soul's life is upon you. Release in order to receive and invite the healing in. That is beautifully said. Now, choose a new direction. But you have done that. Okay? You have chosen a new direction. You have the flowers from 
the Lenormand. So you might, somebody might be giving you a small gift. You might even get a visitor. This is also luck, and it's number nine. So there is an ending, big time. Where there's an ending, there's a new beginning, and you have the Queen of Spades. So that is also Libra, and we had Libra here with a Justice card. So Libra is quite predominant here. It stands out, okay? But don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. And the only other two signs is Libra and Gemini, because they're also dual signs. Wow. So something will become clear to you. Perhaps a Libra or a Gemini has helped you to bring you back into balance um, from the past, or perhaps you have outgrown their energy and they are from the past. Okay, this is really amazing. But the Queen of Swords, right? Because that's the Queen of Spades. The Queen of Swords has her emotions under control. And she cuts straight through to the core to get reality, honesty, clarity, justice. And you have the card here. So you have come in. Justice is being done. Karma is here for you big time. So go and enjoy this beautiful relationship and take it up to the next level, even if you're married. Take it up to the next level. Be refreshing. Show that you enjoy life and that you've let go of the past grievances from past relationships or in this relationship and that you do not um, you do not support codependency. If you are in a relationship and there is codependency, then tell them to get help. Okay? So that you can maintain the balance in the relationship and enjoy each other, if that is what you wish to do. Of course, everybody wants to stay together, but sometimes we do outgrow each other. So if you find yourself in such a situation, please talk to a professional, okay? I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, and I never predict. I don't say that readings are predictions. I say the readings are um, telling you what the energy is, giving you advice, so that you can cope better, so that you know what to do. If you are in a situation uh, with a codependent partner, or you are codependent, then I hope you will see, like the Queen of Swords, who ha has the um, codependency habit. If you really I can talk about this for hours because codependency is also the fear of losing um, the safety that the feeling gives from a partner. It could also create um, jealousy. It's also a codependency is I want them, I want them, I need them. No, you need to stand on your own two feet. They need to stand on their own two feet and you have a life together. You need to find balance within the relationship together. You do this together. Okay? I'm sorry, this reading is taking a life of its own again. So, if, uh, like I said, uh, when, <laughs> well, as a life coach, I've seen it, that a person is my querent or my client, and they are codependent on their uh, partner and that is what is killing the relationship you can't hold or rely too much on the other uh, there should be a balance even in that there's only so much that a person can give um, and then a relationship is like take 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 but there's nothing being given back so that is why you have to find the balance in a relationship and each 
person has to stand on their own two legs and in their own strength so that they can help each other and themselves. I know it sounds pretty heavy but that is how the readings go, they take up a life of their own but you have to be able to see it yourself if you're the co codependent one or the one your partner they have to see um, and understand that they are codependent on you that's why you need to seek professional help if this is so um, in the relationship um, and I'm only talking about extreme cases okay we all have our moments that we depend on our partner a little bit more than usual and then um, a couple of months or weeks later they do the same to us and this is what a relationship is and that is what give and take is that is finding the balance that is finding each other's borders okay and that is the adventure in a relationship is to keep it fresh to work at our relationships because it needs work but sometimes we have to be more serious than other times other times we just want to let our inner child pop out and have fun well my darlings I hope you've enjoyed this reading Pisces and a pool I would love to do a live session with uh, getting interacting like this with this deep thinking and philosophy so if you're interested let me know and we can do it and perhaps okay so there you go take care stay safe and have lots of fun and keep on loving make love not war that's the flower power say, saying please like and share and see you next month or in the weeklies or in the life ciao ciao love side the mum